Okay, gang, so I've got something pretty fun today. It's the Wan Wu Cruiser Ballast Song. This is like the flippiest fidget I've played with in ages. And in fact, it reminds me of being a kid because as a kid, I watched uh, martial arts movies all the time and I would love to read the magazines. And I was actually in karate like a lot of 80s kids were. Uh, karate kid. And uh, in the back of these magazines, they always had like weapons and ninja suits and ninja swords and butterfly knives. And as a kid, all I ever wanted was a butterfly knife. And of course I never got one because that would have been insane for me to have had one then. So this is the closest I'm probably going to get to one. And honestly, that's fine because I would probably chop my fingers off if I was playing with a real butterfly knife right now. So there's a couple of features on this we're going to check out. It is kind of a multi-tool, uh, aside from being one of the awesomest, flippiest fidgets ever. So uh, let's uh, let's have a quick look and see what else this guy can do other than being an awesome flipper. All right, let's go. Okay, so here is the ballast song. Uh, so this thing, like I said, it, it does um, have some uh, multi-tool functionality to it. So. We've got kind of a scraper here, um, you know, a bit of a box cutter. You can actually uh, scrape it along the tape to cut things open. I don't think you should use this to actually cut through cardboard and stuff, but it is good for like cutting up tape. Uh, it, like I said, it does have sort of a scraper, uh, you know, feature to it. And of course the bottle cap opener, because what would a multi-tool be without another bottle cap opener? And then we've got the um, little uh, bit holder. So this is kind of like a standard size bit holder. So uh, it's not magnetic or anything. So it'd be a little, I think it'd be a little tough if you were using it for that reason, but uh, you can in a pinch, you can definitely use it that way. But again, it's real killer feature is just this flick. Now I will say what I have learned is when flicking to grab the higher side, right? You grab the higher arm because then as it spins around, it can't reach the inside of your hand. Whereas if you try to do it the other way, it can actually catch the side of your finger, depending on how you're holding it. But the higher side keeps it away. And you also kind of naturally want to use this side anyways, because you can dig your finger into this little bottom corner here. And that's what lets you do this little beautiful flip and the snapping comes from this pin here and what causes it to snap are these two magnets uh, one in each handle and they kind of drive the handle into the post right like they sort of drive the handles into each other and then that's how they snap is on this post i will say when i got this um one of these screws had actually gotten so loose that as i was i was flicking it in the car I looked over at one point and it was literally gone. It actually flew out, thankfully, into the passenger seat, so I was able to find it. But as soon as I got home, I took out all four of these screws and used Loctite on them. Uh, they're just sitting inside of a cylinder, a threaded cylinder, kind of like uh, just like a um, any any spinner, really, with a bearing, except that there's no bearing in here. But uh, it's the same principle. So you've got the cylinder inside and then the two screws go in. And that's about it. Um, but yeah, this thing is just... It's fun. It's annoying fun. Like it's that fun where you will annoy your family members. Uh, I know my wife uh, is annoyed when I pull this out and start flicking it. Uh, I get that look. So it, uh, you know, when you get that look, you're like, oh, I guess it's time to put this one away. Um, so yeah, other than the look that you might get from uh, the, your, uh, your loved one around you, uh, this is awesome. It is a lot of fun. I would absolutely pick one up if you're into this kind of thing, uh, especially like I said, with the fascination as a kid with butterfly knives and ninja stuff, uh, that's kind of stuck with me. So if you're into that, I'd say definitely take a chance on this guy. Okay, thanks for watching.